So, but in our history, it doesn't show up. We have a history that's written like, you know, it's sort of a, you know, a strange man named Toussaint came and then he is taken, captured, and brought away, and he's made the biggest hero on ifs. If Toussaint had, he would have. And then the man who did the work, Dessalines, brought us to victory, beat everybody, sustained 13 years of war. He is nobody. He is sort of, well, they can't help mention him on January 1st, but it's, you know, got to. All right. But the women totally annihilated in the history. And yet, women like um, Marie-Jeanne, had a troop of a thousand women, and they were responsible for all the spy activities, all the collecting information, and ensuring the security of the generals. Uh, the tradition, the Agbaraya tradition of Dahomey, was directly transported here. Female warriors who don't take prisoners. They just fight to the death. They tell you fighting is to the death. You either die or I die. But at the end of the battle, there's no more talking. This is it. The tradition carried on through here. So as we look at the history that they have produced for us, that the losers have produced for the winners, we come to understand this was purposely created so that we will lose our fighting heart, that we will lose our ability to trust ourselves, our ability to trust in our capacity to win. And in 200 years of this treatment, when it came to, if you recall, in 2004, when uh, the whole charade with kidnapping Aristide and taking him out and blocking the celebration of 200 years of independence, etc., etc. What most people did not notice, but of course someone who has an eye and a heart on history will notice. The French had refused a few months earlier to accompany the U.S. in their attack on Iran. But when it came to, to come to IT, to occupy IT, the French rolled on their back on the floor begging Bush to give them a chance to be part of this. And you know what troops they sent here? They sent the troop Rochambeau. Rochambeau is the general that we beat, the last general that lost the Battle of Vertières. And this general, after losing the war, Dessalines was so kind to him, he said Dessalines was magnanimous because he had planned to cut Dessalines in pieces and put him in sardine boxes. But when Dessalines won, Dessalines gave him boats, food, weapons to go back home. With only one promise, don't you ever set foot on this island again. And he didn't just say it, but in the Constitution of 1805, it was it, an article is written, no white man has the right to set foot on this island as master or proprietor. Okay? And in fact, this, this article was removed from our constitution by the occupation, the U.S. occupation of 1915. Okay? So now, in 2004, the French sent to Rochambeau. That was their first chance for military, French military, to walk on this island. And most people didn't even notice that every time I'd go around and ask people who are supposed to be rulers of this country, uh, what's the name of the troop the French sent here? Hmm. Hmm. Are you aware it's called Troupe Pochambeau? Not so what. Well. You don't know the history of the people. You cannot lead the people anywhere. When you don't know who they are, because your history is who you are. The Asian people are people. You see this earthquake? 
It's no big deal to us. With the proper rulers, the Asian people would rise up and we built IT in instant. And I can, I'm not just talking, I can give you proof. We built the Citadel in 11 years. It is a structure that can house over 20,000 people in 11 years on top of a peak mountain top. Okay? When you go visit the Citadel today, you do not understand how could people bring material to, to build this there. The other citadel existing in the Americas is the Citadel of St. Kitts. It was built by French, British, uh, Dutch, U.S. Uh, there is a fifth one, I forgot who right now. But it took them a hundred years putting all their funds together to build something that is one twelfth of what we build. So that shows you what Aisha can do when they have the proper people leading. People who know their strength. People who believe in them. So that's... Uh, so that brings us now to where we are today. What would you say um, has been or is the foundation or what are some of the foundations, the fundamentals that the Haitian people had, have, will have, which has help them to overcome such obstacles and reach such high levels of civilization? Well, I must first say, often people do not understand. There isn't a single island or single piece of land in the Americas where the people did not fight for freedom. Everybody. Jamaica fought, Cuba fought, uh, Puerto Rico fought, people all over fought against slavery. Then the, the history is written as if white man arrived, established himself, we all lay down on the floor and say, oh, God has sent us what we needed. No, people fought from day one and throughout the years. But what I believe made the difference for the Asian people, we created our own language we created our own belief system. Excuse me, that's number one. We created our own belief system, which gives us our own vision of the universe. So then we could do things from within, according to our own view of the cosmos. So, and that you will, so we create our own vision, our own relationship to the invisible, and then our own language. We, we define a lot of things. For example, black. Dessaline says, black is whoever fight for freedom. He didn't care what your eyes color was, what your skin color was, but if you're fighting for freedom, then you're a black man, period. That's a power that we that is inside that we use then to create situation. Um, bayonets. The French came with the bayonets, and the French used two men for one bayonet. One man on the floor, putting sticking the knife into the gun. Another man up shooting. Jocelyn said, "Well, if it takes two French to use one bayonet, we use one man for one bayonet and kill two French then." And he trained all these men to know how to do it just that way. Uh, the war in Haiti was a family war. Babies had their roles in it. Children had their roles in it. Elders had their roles. Everybody participated. 